Christian McKay from Savannah, Georgia. I want MTV and IMG's model mission for 1998. Another woman sues Sean Diddy Combs claiming he sexually assaulted her during Men's Fashion Week. Whoa, it seems things are set to get worse on a whole different level for Diddy. It's been one shocking revelation after another, and now he's been slammed with another devastating lawsuit. Embattled music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a young model in the early 2000s. Crystal McKinney filed a lawsuit on Tuesday in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. She claims that in 2003, Diddy, who was 34 at the time, assaulted the 22-year-old model at his studio in New York City and had her perform oral sex. This lawsuit is undoubtedly another nail in Diddy's coffin if it is pursued and shown to be accurate. It was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't, we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we're not even going to even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. In addition, McKinney asserts that the hip hop legend destroyed her career by being blackballed in the modeling business, even though he had previously pledged to support her career. McKinney's mental health is said to have declined as a result of the experience, resulting in bouts of depression, anxiety, body image issues, feelings of worthlessness, and intimacy issues. I got my MTV out. I'm a savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! This shouldn't come as a surprise because all of Diddy's purported victims have struggled with mental health issues. Combs 54 has been the target of many sexual assault lawsuits in recent months, which claim he sexually molested or raped several women over the previous few decades. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Although he has continued to deny them, the evidence is just too overwhelming. He sexually molested or raped several women over the previous few decades. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Although he has continued to deny them, the evidence is just too overwhelming. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. Agents from Homeland Security Investigations raided his Los Angeles residence in March, purportedly in relation to a continuing sex trafficking probe in New York. Described as a woman of faith, McKinney stated that after reading about Diddy's legal troubles in the media, she felt compelled by moral obligation to share her story. In the end, McKinney concluded that she had to speak her truth even though she prayed to God before bringing this lawsuit as she feared further violence and or retaliation from defendant Combs. She claims to be a victim of Combs and seeks justice for herself and others. The lawsuit also names Combs businesses as defendants. Universal Music Group, Sean John Clothing, and Bad Boy Records. Representatives for McKinney and Combs have been contacted by USA Today for comments. Back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before Paws was invented, you know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get them earlier than me. And now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what the f***? Did Puff just say? According to McKinney's lawsuit, she got to know Combs after she accepted an invitation from an unidentified fashion designer to an event during Men's Fashion Week at Cipriani downtown in New York City. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. You never really got my number, so. Combs allegedly made a very public display of coming on to McKinney in a sexually suggestive manner and lavished McKinney with wine during the dinner, according to reports. In addition, the music mogul promised the model he would help further her career and offered McKinney his phone number as a gesture of good faith, according to McKinney's filing. McKinney had previously appeared for Tommy Hilfiger and had won MTV's Model Mission Contest in 1998. According to the lawsuit, Combs brought McKinney to his studio later that evening where she shared a weed smoke with the Hello Good Morning rapper and his friends. Uh, Cause P Diddy be wanting to party. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. And it only gets dirty from here, so brace yourself for the gory details. 
The marijuana joint, according to McKinney, felt very powerful and was laced with a narcotic or other intoxicating substance. We gotta, we gotta Ooh, kick it. This is possible. Okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just said? <laughs> it's a fruit pile. <laughs> it's a fruit pile. Trust me. The suit claims that shortly after, Combs took McKinney to the restroom. McKinney claims that after forcing himself onto her and kissing her without her consent, Combs shoved her head down to his crotch and had her engage in oral sex. Look, you look back me? on where I became. Did man. you miss me though? For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You no, know? but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? It appears Diddy liked to drug his victims or render them mentally and physically incapacitated before assaulting them. According to the lawsuit, McKinney started feeling more and more woozy after the alleged attack and eventually passed out. Later, the model awoke inside the taxi cab and was driven back to the apartment of the fashion designer. Oh, right scrambling right and scraping for no, shit. No, no, no. That was you. Scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy. When you're scrambling and scraping for shit. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I mean, I'm You don't caught, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh? I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah. In the lawsuit, McKinney states that after Diddy allegedly assaulted her, she was blackballed and that her modeling opportunities quickly began to dwindle and then evaporate entirely. According to the complaint, the model claims that she went into a tailspin of anxiety and depression which led to her being hospitalized for an attempted suicide in 2004. The complaint claims that Combs' assault has changed the course of McKinney's career, depriving her of a successful and lucrative career in the modeling and film industries. Intimacy problems and alcohol and drug addiction are purported side effects of McKinney's purported assault by Combs, according per the ex-model's complaint. The complaint was brought under the Victims of Gender-Motivated Violence Protection Law of New York which gave survivors of gender-motivated violence a two-year look-back period during which they could file a lawsuit against their abusers regardless of when the abuse occurred. McKinney is demanding a jury trial for the case. She also wants to be compensated for the mental and emotional injury, distress, pain, and suffering and injury to her reputation. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. You know what I'm saying? Like, he says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo, yo. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> no, and then they're going off. When it's people say that to me, I get a little comfortable. How much more can we take? Do you think more victims will come out? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest news on the Diddy Saga.